a millionaire, chose to respond to me, please. I'm from DC. You gonna have to come harder than that. What's up, y'all? Welcome to my channel. Welcome to the show. My name is B. Octavia. I'm 23 years old and I'm from Washington, D.C. And today I will be giving my response to Little Miss Asian Doll. Now, I didn't expect to have to do this, but being as though she is who she is and she gives ignorant responses to people, I have to do this. In my last video, I spoke on the bad car accident that she had, right? I also spoke on her actions and how she moved after that. In every traumatic situation that you have, you have to learn something. Because if you didn't, it was all for nothing. All of it was for nothing. And I'm tired of people playing with God. I'm tired of people playing with their life like it's not valuable. Your body can quit on you. So if you keep pushing through this, it's not going to be good for you. It's time to stop with this young ass mentality that, you know, we're going to be straight no matter what. And that's not the case. Now, it's my opinion. How she moved after the car accident made me not even care about the car accident. Because you don't care about the car accident. You showed it off. You know what I'm saying? You showed off the car accident wanting sympathy. And you didn't get that from me. And that's the problem. I mean, I'm going to get into what she said. But this video will be my full response. And I'll just leave it at that. If she was a receptive, educated 23-year-old like me, you know, her response wouldn't have been what it was. Let's get into what she said back to me. Now, as I do all the time, I upload my thumbnail and sometimes I tag the people that's, that it's about. Now, I'm for real about to be tagging everybody that I'm talking about so y'all know exactly how I feel about y'all. Because one thing that I'm not into is sugarcoating nothing. And if you put your shit on the forefront, I'm going to say something about it. If I like it, if I don't like it, whatever the case is. That's how I am. So I tagged her in the post. And she quickly, with the quickness, okay, she responded in my DM. This is the message that she sent me and honestly her response is very typical to the person that she is as you can see she says bitch you can suck my dick you not supporting me don't mean shit literally you're 23 and i'm 23 and i'm damn near a millionaire off of my cosmetic line alone make a youtube video about that now one thing i know about millionaires a couple things i know about millionaires is number one millionaires don't have time to respond to common folk you know millionaires don't have the time millionaires are busy making more millions and this is my thing about her didn't she say she became a millionaire off of her record deal and now off of some shit that you launched the other day you're a millionaire off of that i would rather not make a video about that first of all because it would be a lie there are people in your comments that are saying where's the website where's the website where's the website second of all if you make any money off of it that's cool you know but it took you this long to put that together out of all of the time that you was sitting around and supporting vaughn 
laying around waiting for him to come out of jail and then he get out of jail and you just standing still out of all that time you could have had all that shit so that's nothing to really brag about you had time you had more time than a lot of people but you was focused on a nigga right moving forward i'm 23 and she's 23 now one thing i hate about people my age when they got a little money they want to demean other people that's their age and they want to brag about their age so much and brag about what they got that it all turns out to be a lie you're not going to shame me for being in this position that i'm in at 23 because of what you got my shit is really humble beginnings and if you was a real bitch you would have focused on your craft and not focused on a nigga and not focused on implants in your breast and your ass you wouldn't be concerned about that shit if you was a real bitch let's really make something clear here because i was fairly nice i spoke my piece in the first video but I don't like this shit. And she is why I stay away from people my age. Because they ain't got shit on their mind for real. You 23. You 23. All you say is gang. Why don't you, Asian doll, expand your vocabulary a little bit. Make, make, it, make it so people really think that you're educated. Make it so that people really respect you for your vernacular. People don't respect you for that. Them little ass songs that you're doing now ain't a mountain of shit. You can't tell me that it is. You're going to have to come harder than that for DC. You just are. Bitch, suck my dick is elementary. You don't care about me not supporting your music, but you responded to me. Now make that make sense. I never fronted or faked about what I had and what I don't have. This is for real humble beginnings. And honestly, you should be looking up to me. You should really be listening to what I'm saying. It might save you from actually losing your life. Didn't I say in the last video that she's ghetto? And I'm from the ghetto. I know how this shit go, but I know that I'm ready to evolve. I'm ready to, to do something greater than that. I'm ready to really elevate. And one thing about Asian Doll is she will never get anywhere with this mentality. Look at Foxy Brown. You know who Asian Doll remind me of? She reminds me of Foxy Brown. Foxy Brown was hot back in the day. Foxy Brown ain't hot no more. And you want to know why? Because of her fucking attitude. You want to know why Foxy Brown ain't hot no more? Because she just a hood. Sometimes you have to be more than just a hood bitch. And if you like that type of thing, you're going to go through life just thinking that shit cute. And just thinking that people going to ride that wave. A lot of people is not going to fuck with you because of your attitude. A lot of people is not going to fuck with you because of this, this hood mentality that you got. And see, mine is different. Mine is better. And that's what you really mad at. You want to know what I said when I first got that message? I got to her. That wasn't my intention to, to get under your skin. But if you need to hear some shit, I'm going to tell you. I'm going to tell you yeah literally i'm 23 and you 23. you don't get the comments that you're so wise i do you don't get the comments about your wisdom you don't get the comments about your lyrics all the time but one thing that i do see is that you get comments about your appearance you get comments about your body you a rapper you're a rapper. Are you really that concerned about breasts and ass? And it didn't keep King Von. 
didn't keep him. Next, I'm going to do a song with King Von. Jania who? To be honest, you may have more than me, but you're not on my level of intelligence. You're not on my level of street smarts. You're not on my level at all. Let's just be clear on that. And I want everybody to know that. I was nice the first time. I was. I was respectful. I told you why I wouldn't support your shit no more. I told you where you went wrong. And this is the thing. The sad truth about it. People don't like to be told the truth. People don't like to be told what they, what they need to do. I'm so sorry that your mother's not telling you this. I'm so sorry that she was so young when she had you. And she didn't teach you much. And that's no excuse. That's no excuse at all. What would be your next action? After me doing this video, after me saying what I said in the first one, what would be your action that you would take? Would you come to D.C.? Would you want to fight me? You don't even have a career anymore. Your shit slowed down because you slowed it down. All of that getting out of the record deal and all that, you was out. They let you out. You haven't built your resume at all. What the fuck have you been doing? Don't do this. Don't do this. What would be your next action? You want to fight? We could do that, but you're not worth it to me. You really not even worth my words, but I get paid to speak. I don't just say a few, a few words. I don't get on live every day. Instagram live is free. You're a weirdo. You want to talk about people that look up to you for what? Look up to you because of what you got, because of the money, because of your body. I don't lust after that. And I never look up to your money because the way you make your money is not how I make mine. I make my money off of respect. I make my money off of using my voice to teach the young kids something. Your music can't even teach them shit. You got what, one million or however million followers? And that's what I'm supposed to look up to? You're pathetic. See, it's too many people telling you the wrong things. And then when somebody come along that try to tell you what you really need to do and tell you what you really need to hear, you want to call me a bitch. I can be that bitch. I can and I will. It was weak because growing up in D.C., you hear that shit all the time. You want to know how many, how many times I really got called a bitch? That shit really don't mean nothing to me. That response was typical. Do something that's really out of your comfort zone. Do something that's unexpected. Your responses are very generic to the person that you are. See, when you think you got it all, you really don't. If you have to brag about what you have, if you have to show money so people really know you paid, you don't have much. You can keep that little shit. The lesson of the day, ladies and gentlemen. First of all, have some respect, you know? If somebody's telling you some great advice, have some fucking respect. Number two, never be like, what's her name? Her name is ghetto as shit. It's Myra Nisha or some shit like that. Don't be like her. Anybody that has to name their self Asian doll who really comes up with that name even though they're not Asian at all is trying to run away from who they really are. You mad? You should be. You claim you're a millionaire? You're not. Every video that I make makes sense. Every response that I make makes sense. Every word that I speak makes sense. Yours doesn't. That's the difference. Yeah, we both 23, but very different. 
You don't learn from the traumatic shit that you've been through. I did. You thought you hurt my feelings? Did you think that? Did you think that you having all these followers and shit and saying, bitch, suck my dick is going to do something? The, another huge difference between me and you is no matter how much money I acquire, I never change. You know you changed. You got dickmatized. You got hypnotized by money. Where's the where's the OTF chain? It wasn't yours. Where's the fucking 1017, the both of the chains that you was you was rocking? It wasn't yours. You had to give all that shit back. That would never be my life. Never. I'm not rocking no chain that's not mine. Some shit that you gotta return, but you a millionaire. Out of all that time that you supported OTF, they didn't sign your fucking ass. And why is that? Because you're not hard enough. You're not hard enough. You're not good enough to go up on OTF's label. Did they tell you that? Did they tell you that? Because I'll tell you. I'll tell you. I'll tell you. You're not good enough. Your lyrics aren't good enough. This is a lesson. To all of you watching, I never back down from my opinion. If I got something to say, I'ma say it. And if you wanna respond, whether that be in an ignorant way or in a positive way, and you see my shit as constructive criticism, I'm gonna respond to it. I'm not in this fake reality like you. Go ahead and post your millions Post your little money. Post, post about you being a millionaire from a cosmetic line that hasn't really made no money yet. A millionaire chose to respond to me. Please. You wish you was a millionaire. And that's the only thing that we have alike. I wish I was too. You can go back to the hole that you was in because I'm done with you.